this time against a team that you guys had some exciting matchups with um, last year. How excited are you guys for this matchup for Ravens this week? Um, it's really another opportunity. Uh, we've seen over the weekend that um, that we was the ones who won and uh, the other three teams lost. So that put us in great position to, you know, go against a divisional opponent and um, be able to capitalize off of the opportunity that we have ahead of us. So um, we know what we got to do to go in there to, you know, become um, victorious and basically just go about it like that. You know, approach the week good and get ready. Knowing kind of how their offense is set up, where they want to run the ball, whether it be Lamar or Donovan, as a yeah. running back, does this kind of like juice you up even more? I mean, it's probably going to be a game that comes out to whoever can run the ball then? Um, most definitely. I mean, at the end of the day, if you're running the ball effectively, like, you got a great chance. And um, especially down in December and January and uh, potentially February with teams, um, you definitely have great success on winning. But we definitely, obviously, know we got to stop um, the run and stop Lamar Jackson. I mean, I'm sure the defense got something cut out for him. I don't know. But as long as we're doing what we need to do um, on our end, we will be good. How frustrated are you with um, I mean, it's frustrating because obviously you want the stats and things like that, but um, I'm definitely encouraged because if you watch the film, we just literally is one piece away or one block away, whether it's front side, back side, or, you know, me seeing something and actually hitting it faster. Um, you know, everything go hand in hand, but um, my third year, you know, when I was here, I probably had like 200 yards, barely, um, in eight games, and then all of a sudden I down there had like a thousand over the back end. So, I mean, I'm not really worried about that, but I mean, we definitely got room to improve to get better, and you know, I look forward to sure. know, coming to work and doing that. How much do you have to tell yourself during a game and throughout the course of a season early on? Patience, be patient. It'll come. It'll yeah. come. It'll come. I mean, at the end of the day, man, that's just the name of the game. I mean, football is a game of inches, and it go up and down, up and down through the season. So, um, you know, when you when you on what we are. are when things are going how it is right now, you know, you just got to stay patient. Just keep telling yourself patience is going to come. Just make sure you in the right spot doing what you got to do and, you know, everything else to take care of itself, man. So, like I said, I'm definitely optimistic of, you know, the run game getting better. I mean, like I told you, we, we're real close. Um, you know, I'm pretty much around the same status almost, I think, in the last few years. But, um, like I said, you, you want obviously we want to get the stats, but they're going to come when you do all the little things. So, um, like I said, I was going to keep approaching the week, you know, how we always do, um, study film, watch film, uh, take notes in the classroom, and obviously go out there on the field and get better. How are you, do you feeling know how physically? close it is when it's happening, Joe, or after the How are you feeling physically? Uh, I feel great physically. Um, everything's going well and coming out the game's healthy. So, uh, you know, I probably dealt with an ankle issue early, like probably the first, first game and first two games, but I feel good right now, man. So just going to keep approaching it week by week, taking care of my body, doing the things off the field. And when we come in here, go to the training room, do all the things to, you know, obviously be there uh, come Sunday. So. Sorry, do you, do you know how close it is as the game's going on, or do you see that when you go back and watch the team? Well, when you're, when you're in a uh, game, you know, for me, I usually, after I probably get tackled or something, I look at the jumbotron or something, make sure I made the correct read or uh, making sure or looking how the defense play. So it's little things like that. Then obviously when you go to the sideline, you make the adjustments on what you've seen or what you didn't see. But um, us and me and Alignment and Pollock and my running back coach, Justin, we all on the same page and we're going to keep taking the same approach and the run game going to hit. So, I mean, I look forward to it when it hits. Sure. What worked well for you in that first drive against Miami? Um, really, I feel like we was just, you know, balanced all the way around. Um, offense on, or offensive line was on point. Joey B was on point. Uh, the receivers was doing their things on the perimeter. So, uh, like I said, it's just, you know, us clicking. We haven't even tapped into really our full potential and what we're going to be as an offense. So, um, obviously, like I told you, it's a long season. We're going to get better. And uh, once we start juggling, it's going gonna, it's gonna, to, people going to see what it is. So, you mentioned that. Operating how you guys would in a game, but are you yeah. seeing things from the offensive line that show you that you guys are that much better up front than you were last year? Yeah, for sure. I mean, 
they, them boys, they, they put in the work. And, um, you know, last week we even had a meeting. Um, I called for a meeting with them to, you know, just see what they're thinking on certain runs or what they think I should do on certain runs. And I feel like that'll definitely be beneficial down the road and taking that next step on, you know, coming together and building that chemistry on and off the field. And um, I think that's going to take us a long way, especially, you know, doing down the road. So I look forward to it. Was it just you in the starting five then? Nah, it was me and probably about like 10 others. So. That kind of happened in 2018. Yeah, yeah um, but you know, like I said, it was you know really just mastering what we have to be as an offense and what we want to be on the, um, on the offensive side, like running the ball. We want to be physical. We want to get out to the defenders and you know wear them down in the uh, game. But and obviously finish the game off uh, pounding the rock, but. Um, we got guys on the perimeter that, you know, obviously we got the best tandem in the league with receivers, um, but we just got to keep on building, keep putting it together. I mean, we got Joe Burrow. We got a very unselfish offense, but uh, we definitely look forward to, you know, putting up numbers and obviously winning games, which is most important. What came out of that meeting with the line? What did you learn from it? Um, like I said, they pretty much just building that chemistry and having them see what I'm seeing on certain blocks. Or, you know, if they could just torque a guy a different way, or if they can just cut somebody off backside, or I could just hit this a little faster or hit backside. Like, it's just little things that, you know, we didn't see over over the course of time. But, I mean, like I said, man, I'm very optimistic. I mean, I, have, I haven't lost, like, nine near confidence in the run game and what I'm capable of and what I know they're capable of. After last week getting the win, two weeks in a row, the rest of the conference now, you know, two and two at the top, how motivating yeah. is that going into Sunday Night Football? I mean, it's very motivating because everybody knows what's at stake. They know what's at stake and so do we. But at the end of the day, we got to take initiative on our guys and coming to work, doing all the little things properly, correctly, um, on and off the field. And obviously, when we take the field come Sunday, we're going to know it's going to come down to who's going to be able to um, run the football, obviously, you know, take care of the football, and who obviously had the most points on the, um, at the end of the day. So um, I definitely have a lot of confidence in our guys. Um, I'm going to do whatever I can to make sure that we're ready on our end and, uh, you know, made the best win with the best man win on Sunday. I know some of the faces on their defense are different, but do you think they're going to take what you guys did doing last year personally? I mean, that's they probably. I ain't got nothing to do with me. What, what did you learn from Joey and Carson? I mean, over the time, so y'all take those scores. Um, I mean, Joey, uh, he's going to do his thing. You know, he's going to throw the football. He's going to make plays. And obviously, he extends plays, and that's what makes him him. Um, to me, you know, everybody talks about his swag and, you know, what he brings to the table. But the best thing I love about Joey B, and I tell him all the time, is the poison, the huddle, in crucial moments. Um, he always come through and make the big play or make the big throw, whether it's a third and five or third and 10, like he's gonna be that guy to, you know, he's gonna have a killer mentality. If you look at him, like if you see him in the huddle or you see him on a big screen, like he just looks like he about to deliver. And that's what, you know, by me being a running back and when you take a huddle in a crucial moment and you, you want a guy like that in there. So that's one thing that I love about Joey B. How big is that being in East Division game with some of these things also trying to come yeah. down support? I mean, it's gonna, it's gonna be crucial, you know, coming into this game. Like I said, everybody in the division is even right now, you know, two and two. Um, but at the same time, it's a great opportunity for us to take Let's that go. jump and just keep building and stacking wins. And we're gonna do whatever we gotta do you know, to come out with the win, and that's just what it is. So you, you kind of mentioned you've been, your production's been real streaky, where you will yeah. be hot, yeah. higher than, why do you think that is? I mean, I don't know. I, truthfully, I don't know, but uh, like I said, man, I'm very optimistic on uh, the numbers coming and being able to produce how I know how and how our linemen knows how they can do. But I mean, like I said, man, I have no worry and no doubt in my mind that um, the Dwayne game is going to take off. Um, do you get like the, I, oh, I'm sorry. Do you, do you get the sense that he's looking more to check down, more in the check down mode because of the way guys are playing? Well, I mean, essentially sometimes. Uh, one thing, Joey B, he's going to look at all his reads and then obviously I am the check down, so he's going to drop it down late. But uh, what I've seen, you know, lately, you know, he'll look, take about two or three reads, and if he don't have it, he's going to check it down. And um, 
that's when I got to eat, you know, at least keep moving the chains or getting first down. So, and that's what we're playing for, first downs and touchdowns. So we just got to keep on playing team, team football and uh, everything else will take care of itself. Joe, you know that the running game is about attitude. And it seemed like that first run of the game, the first touchdown of the game mm -hmm. the other night, when you ran five yards with the rugby scrum, that yeah. seemed to set an attitude. Most definitely. And um, I feel like there's more to come to that. And uh, I look forward to, you know, getting down and dirty with them guys. Like I said, I know we're like literally super close from taking off and the big plays will come. And like I said, I'm as patient as ever, but when that time comes, I'm definitely going to seize the opportunity for sure. Is it hard to stay patient whenever it seems like whether it's a good time box or certain things just not making the way Yeah, for sure. I mean, a lot of things is involved, um, but obviously we make them corrections. But at the same time, you know, it can it can get uh, it might can get frustrating, especially if you know like you're the top back, you want to obviously create, do certain things. But um, I mean, you pretty much like I said, it's really staying dialed in and being in tune to the scheme. And if you could be in tune with the scheme, doing the same thing over and over and over, and mastering what you're gonna do as a team, um, and me being in the right places, like I said, as long as you're doing them little things correctly, and we're, we're going to take off, and I know we will, so I, so I look guys, forward to it. I think you guys were like 5-5 five five on 3rd and 1, yeah. and they stopped on 4th and 1, and yeah. they stopped on the goal line. Mm -hmm. did, did they adjust? Streaky? Yeah, I mean, what, what, is it, what was the explanation? I mean, they got one of their defensive play, like defensive linemen made a play. I mean, at the end of the day, people on the other side get paid too, and that's what you know people don't understand. But I mean, we just gotta come up and make these plays, um, and we will. Uh, we will. We just gotta keep on working on it. Um, I feel like you know the run game and the goal line definitely has to get better. Um, I have to get better, and I will get better. Like I said, I, I know for a fact. At, at some point, something's going to give. So, like I said, I look forward to it. What do you have to do to get better on the ball? We, we just got to keep on dialing in, man. I mean, sometimes, you know, we always we get uh, unscripted look, and when we get unscripted looks, you got to deal with it. You got to learn how to, you know, adjust on the fly, and maybe it can be in that second. But at the end of the day, it's all about communication and executing. And I feel like um, we will get better at that. We just got to keep on going to work getting better, being in these situations, and then obviously thriving through them. So it, it'll, it'll come. It'll Joe, you love, like, how much is wide zone?